Welcome everyone. You're trying to use the user's ringtone button and it's just not working. So after this preparing, what's gonna happen is the app I'm in will just freeze. The ringtone won't be in my settings. I can't tap any buttons. The app is just completely frozen, not good. And another issue you might have is when you tap user's ringtone, it says choose a ringtone under 30 seconds, far too large. Now, both of these issues happen for different reasons. This one being self-explanatory, but this one right here where the app freezes, this is a bug in iOS 26. We can get around the bug, but just to explain shortly, either Apple were meant to allow you to use the audio from video files or audio from other sources as a ringtone. And this button here just isn't working at the moment and it'll be fixed later. We can still set the ringtone right now with this tutorial, but you know, maybe it's just bugged. Or option two is that there's a bug where the user's ringtone button is showing when it's not meant to show up. Regardless of what is going on, follow my tutorial, we will have everything up and running. So what we'll need to do is open up the app store and we're gonna search for audio editor, the liquid glass is kind of covering that, audio editor, and just look for audio editor hyphen music editor. This is a free app. It does have ads, but it's completely free to download and completely free to use. We're gonna use this app in order to get the job done. So let's open up audio editor and it's asking to track, select ask app not to track. Now you don't need to use the free trial. So don't need to use the free trial. Don't need to pay. Just tap the X at the top left to use this app completely for free. Uh, there are some ads though. It's asking uh, to use uh, personalized adders for the Google. So there's no option. We just have to consent to Google ads uh, running. So what we're gonna do is we see import audio from video or from file. So if we wanna use that video, the sound from the video, just tap from video here. And then we're gonna limit access to our photos. And you're just gonna choose that video file. There we go, boom. And then we'll tap tick. And then we'll tap the circle. And then we'll tap okay. And that's going to import the video into the app and then it will play a lovely ad. We'll just wait for that. If you downloaded a audio file from the internet, then under import audio, choose from file. And then here, just go browse, iCloud drive downloads, or on my iPhone downloads, and just look for your audio file, tap it, tap on open. And regardless of what you've done, we now have an audio file imported that we can edit for the use of the ringtone. So now we're gonna tap on edit audios. And regardless if you were using that video file with the song or the MP3, we could just choose whatever we want. So I'm going to choose uh, this .mp3 just because it's longer than 30 seconds and we'll tap on okay. Now, if you were using the video file and that song or the recording of the video file was under 30 seconds, then you could just tap on share now and then go to MP3, export, and then you can use the user's ringtone option in here. So we just tap share and then the user's ringtone option here will work. If I tap this, it will work, but you can see the, the ringtones over 30 seconds. So I will need to edit that one first, but if you have the file under 30 seconds, you're good to go. Now you can see my duration here is two minutes, so I can't do that right now. I need to crop this first. So in order to do that, you're just gonna tap on the audio file here and you see this left arrow, just scrub this arrow to the left and then we can see, we can choose when the music begins and then you release and it will just play. You can also scrub your finger and if you keep on holding to the far right of the screen and to the far left, you can see you can swipe across. So I'm just gonna go here, I'm gonna swipe to the edge and I'm gonna scrub this. If for whatever reason, this scrub isn't showing, just tap again and then you can scrub across. So I'm gonna keep on scrubbing until the duration here 
goes to 29.8. So if it's 29.9 or 30.0, .9 30 just be too long. So just set it to 29.8. There we go. Boom. So that's my ringtone. You can use this scrubber here to just hear the full thing. If you're happy, great. If not, well, then try again. Now we need to save the cut. So we're going to tap the left arrow, the bottom left. And then we'll tap the refresh icon. We will choose the tandem alignment. It actually doesn't matter what you choose. If you can choose parallel or tandem, just choose one of those options. Now the duration is under 30 seconds. The ringtone will apply. So just tap the share icon here. There we go. And then under quality, leave it a general. Under format, set it to MP3. And then under file name, this is going to be the name of the ringtone which shows up in your settings. So just choose whatever you want. I'll just use a bunch of T's and then I'll export like this. Then another ad. Once we hit the share button and we select user's ringtone. Remember earlier it wasn't working, but when I tap this, immediately it's working. You can see my custom ringtone. And if I turn it on, uh, I'm not going to have that music play just in case it's copyrighted. But uh, it's really great. If you want to delete the ringtone, just swipe it to the left and tap on delete. So yes, there is a bug in iOS 26 is gone now. But real quick, YouTube have not been promoting my videos like they used to. So if you found this video useful, it would really mean the world to me if you hit the like button down below and just left a comment saying, hey, this video helped me out. Thank you. If it didn't help you out, leave a comment with any questions. I think I covered everything, but if I didn't, I'll to be honest, I'm tired. So maybe I didn't. But if I genuinely didn't, just let me know. I'll get back to you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.